hello all welcome back to my channel this is future be here with another video and in this video i'm gonna be doing something that um i have not done since last year i think it was we're gonna do some soap bubble nails yeah do you remember those i like them they remind me of like mermaids and like the ocean and so i wanted to do some soap bubble nails first what you saw me do there was to swatch several colors i was trying to decide which ones i'm gonna be using i chose several of them including an orange a glittery pink a red you know just several colors and i'm going to be doing a tri-color ombre on three of my fingers and then i'm just going to be doing a glitter ombre on two of my fingers all of these colored acrylics that i'm going to be using are from model ones they are from various model one kits i have several of them and so these colors are coming from those and as I'm doing these tricolor ombres, each ombre is going to be different. So the first one started with orange at the tip. The second one is gonna have red at the tip. And then on my pinky, I'm gonna start with pink at the tip. And then I'm going to be switching the colors for the next set of colors. And then for the cuticle color, I'm gonna be switching it again. So each finger is gonna be different. They're tricolor ombres though. After I complete the ombres, then I'm going to go in with my glitter acrylics. Um, they're going to be the same on both the thumb and the ring finger. But I'm going to go in with one glitter color towards the tip, and then I'm going to go with another color towards the cuticle and blend them into each other for those ombres. I will be capping all of the nails because there's a lot of ombres going on. <laughs> And when I go into file, I don't want to file any of the ombres off, so I'm going to be capping all of the nails. If you're looking for um, inexpensive acrylics that, that really have some great color payoff, Model Ones is a great brand to pick from. As you can see, the colors are really vibrant and they all blend really well into each other. I will say that all of these colors, I would say, are... Um, slower setting if you look there whenever i put them on my nail i could have let them dry out a little bit before i put them on my nail so that they didn't run as much but even as they're running it's not bad you know what i'm saying um, i'm running a fan at the time that i'm doing my nails because i don't want the monomer smell just everywhere and so that kind of helps with the um drying in the room because it was a little bit uncomfortable in my room, but it did help them dry a little bit. Overall, I really do like the Model Ones brand. If you've watched any of my videos, you can see that I use them quite often. As I'm gonna be capping the nails, I am gonna be using Mia Secret. I am using Mia Secret Monomer as well for this video. I'm using um, JC Beauty Concepts monomer drops they are in a cherry smell and it does kind of taste not taste i definitely didn't taste it it kind of smells like medicine like cherry medicine and so it's not really like the best smell but it's really not bad i would definitely say if you're looking for a monomer drop to try it it's not that bad but if monomer does give you a headache I don't think monomer drops any of them are going to keep the monomer from giving you a headache because monomer is made with chemicals and those chemicals do have a smell the chemicals are still in the air no matter whether you're using a drop for them or not the chemicals are in the air so you could potentially get a headache whether you're using monomer drops or not so if monomer causes you any issues then i would say just stick away from it obviously i'm not a doctor but if you're having issues with that um, just be aware that just because you're masking the smell doesn't mean that the chemicals go away right for me it doesn't cause me a headache and I do use a fan with a filter right near my um, workspace so I don't really have issues with it my inspiration for doing these nails was like I said like a mermaid type thing but I also wanted to do springy kind of summer nails and these nails kind of remind me of like a smoothie like just a melding of colors um let me know if you think that it reminds you of a smoothie 
I love the way these colors blended together and I think they were, these nails came out really really nice looking but I think that I could have left them with just the ombres and not gone in with the gel polish that I'm going to go in with at the end and it still would have been gorgeous very summery springy bright vibrant colors these these nails are just really cute if you could do them differently or if you think that they would look better with the different colors which colors would you choose let me know now to cap these nails i just find this part so satisfying watch with me the acrylic just lays so beautifully as i'm dropping each bead onto the nail and you see it just blend into the next bead and then smoothing it down the rest of the nails there are no air bubbles i just really love watching acrylic being laid am i the only one i hope not because it's just really cathartic my regular job my nine to five is kind of hectic causes can cause a lot of anxiety if i don't you know take a lot of time for myself at the end of the week and doing my nails just watching this process i mean it's oddly satisfying <laughs> i hope i'm not the only one but for me doing my nails laying acrylic watching acrylic being laid in others videos it's just satisfying what is your favorite part of doing your nails or having your nails done do you enjoy the acrylic laying process for you is it about going to the salon and you know just being pampered for the moment or you know visiting a friend family member um, a nail tech in their home or in a smaller space and just having the process done and feeling like you're getting some new time what do you like most about doing your nails or watching nails being done i would love to know oh and i don't think i said it earlier but for this nail set i am using my kimisi size 18 brush i work with a size 18 brush when i'm doing my longer nails i generally work with a size 12 whenever i'm doing my shorter nails i really love working with this brush in particular as you can see it just works really now really nicely i've had it for about three years now and it's holding up This drill bit here is a barrel drill bit. I got it from Amazon. It came in a set of three. These drill bits work really, really well. And every time I'm needing a new drill bit, I always go back to these. Again, these are by Panna. I got them from Amazon. of dusting my nails off and then going in and buffing because I really get to see the fruit of my labor. I really get to see what the nails are beginning to look like. That's to me when they really begin to take shape for what the final product is going to look like. Now I'm going in with the base coat and I'm going to go in with this on all of my nails and then I'm going to cure. Then I will be going in with white gel polish to add a little pizzazz to these nails. Oh my goodness, I completely forgot about this part. <laughs> so I'm actually going to go in with this pink gel polish and I'm going to do kind of like a marbling technique. I'm going to be going in with the polish on my nails and then I'm going to take a different brush dipped in a little bit of acetone and I'm going to be wiping away some of the polish and after I do this for one layer I'm going to cure top coat with matte top coat and go in with another layer. I'm going to end up covering this up not because it looked bad just because I didn't really have too much of a vision of what I wanted to do before I did these nails. <laughs> so um 
I was like, no, I need to add some, you know, mermaid-like effects to this. This can't just be marbling and ombre. I want a mermaid. <laughs> so I'm gonna end up covering this up in the end, but I did leave this portion in the video just to show what I did. See, I went all over these nails with this and then like I'm gonna cover it up and you can't even see it but um, I really wanted the bubble portion of the polish to really show through so the soap bubble portion to show through so I am gonna be covering this up later but again I wanted to tell you what I did to get the final result on these nails I'm about to explain how you do it. So I've taken some white gel polish and I've put it on my nails. Then I'm going to go in with these bubbles that I've created from some dish washing liquid as well as some water. I've made the bubbles. I'm going to go and put the bubbles on top of the gel polish and then I'm going to cure the polish. It leaves this beautiful texture and I hope it's coming across as you're looking here but it creates this beautiful texture on the nails that kind of looks like scales i don't know how to describe it other than scales <laughs> then i'm gonna go in and i'm gonna top coat these nails and there you can see the bubbles still on there yeah you see so pretty do you like this nail set would you wear it let me know i would love to hear your feedback if you have any suggestions for me please let me know down below Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.